Greetings. This will be the fourth video regarding the earthquake and solar eclipse symmetry. This time it will be focused on a volcanic eruption, a major volcanic eruption in Tonga, which erupted in 2022, the Honga Tonga volcano. This event was officially classified as a VEI-5 eruption. Some agencies have it as a VEI-6, which is quite significant. Not only was it a major volcanic eruption, but also produced a significant tsunami, 45 metre run-up heights in Tonga, and as high as 2 metres right across the Pacific in Peru. We're now going to look at solar eclipses and their related symmetry to the Tonga eruption in 2022. Looking at the solar eclipse in 2019, we note that we have the moon shadow coming out of the region just south of New Zealand and moving into the Pacific Ocean, very near to where Tonga is, which is circled in both of these images. In 2021, we also have an interesting solar eclipse, this one a partial. We have the eclipse beginning at just underneath the South Sandwich Islands and South America. And note that the moon's shadow is stretching across the Pacific and very near the Tonga region as well. And we have the animation of the solar eclipse that I will show shortly. It begins just underneath South America and then stretches across Antarctica and then slingshots back into the Pacific Ocean. And we just need to note the entry point of light and day between the Tonga in both of these solar eclipses. We're now looking at an image of both solar eclipses in 2020. I have overlaid both of them together with Tonga being the center point circled. The first solar eclipse in June shows the exit node or termination point of the solar eclipse ending around Guam and then moving across the Pacific. And we know that the entry point in the December 2020 solar eclipse is showing it coming out of the Pacific Ocean. And we know that Tonga's position in between both of these solar eclipses is quite fascinating. Now looking at the 2021 partial solar eclipse, and note the position of Tonga with respect to night and day. It's almost at sunset in Tonga at the beginning of the actual eclipse itself, where the moon's shadow begins to show itself just over South America and South Sandwich Islands. We note that the eruption itself took place just prior to sunset, which is a very interesting symmetry that many have overlooked. This is a very key important symmetry that must be noted. The eruption itself is the termination of light. Now, If we continue playing the 2019 animation of the solar eclipse, we note that the moon's shadow moving across Antarctica and then starts to elongate and stretch and gets pulled back into the Pacific Ocean. Note that it exits just underneath the south of New Zealand and then also the yellow portion exits just underneath Tasmania, Australia. Now it does look quite innocuous, the partial solar eclipse, it doesn't look like much on face value, but all solar eclipses have some valuable information that needs to be looked at quite closely. We're now looking at the 2019 solar eclipse animation and this time it's almost inverted. Instead of light diminishing underneath south of New Zealand, we have the moon's shadow coming out of south of New Zealand, stretching in towards the Pacific. And note that the orange orb or shadow of the moon is very close to Tonga. That's the related information regarding the 2022 Honga Tonga volcanic eruption. But it also erupted back in 2009. So just looking back at the solar eclipse information, we note a very interesting symmetry that's perhaps more significant in 2008, a year prior to the eruption. We had a very interesting symmetry with a partial solar eclipse which is mirrored back from the 2021 partial solar eclipse. We note the termination of light is occurring over the South Pacific Ocean, specifically over Samoa and also Tonga. We note that the yellow shade is diminishing right over this region. And we also have a look at the 2009 total solar eclipse. We have another interesting symmetry focused over the same region. We're now going to be looking at an animation of the 2009 total solar eclipse and it's quite important as it was featured in my first video of the series, 2008 Sichuan China Earthquake. The 2009 total solar eclipse is starting to show its shadow of the moon working across the Pacific Ocean, now starting to stretch towards the South Pacific Islands, specifically just north of Samoa. But we note that the orange orb or the moon's shadow starting to diminish and terminate right on Samoa and the yellow orb, which starts to move over the same region, it diminishes and terminates right on Samoa. So not only did we get a Tonga volcanic eruption the following year, but we also had two very large earthquakes in Samoa. I'm very confident that the entry and exit points of the solar eclipse may play an important role in determining possible timeframes for significant earthquakes felt here on the Earth. Looking ahead, we have two important solar eclipses coming up in 2024, both of them having entry points coming out of the South Pacific Ocean. And the very first one in April is very significant as it's coming out of the zone we just focused on in this video, it's seemingly coming out of Tonga. 
and also Fiji, a very significant total solar eclipse coming up, which may be indicative of significant earthquake events for either 2024 or 2025 for Samoa or Tonga. So expect something very similar to what occurred in 2009. If we look closely at the 2024 total solar eclipse and overlay that with the 2009 solar eclipse, we find a very interesting symmetry, almost inverted symmetry. In 2024, we have the entry point of the total solar eclipse coming out of the region that we focused on in this video. Circled in white is Tonga, and circled in red is Samoa. Note their proximity to the termination of the moon's shadow. While in 2009, we have the opposite, where the exit node, or the termination of light, of the moon is moving just above Samoa. Again, circled in red, and the Tonga region circled in white. Note their proximity. So I'm expecting something quite similar to what occurred in 2009. A significant event in terms of earthquakes for either Samoa or Tonga in 2024 or 2025 or potentially another volcanic eruption, unfortunately. And that concludes this video on the 2009-2022 volcanic eruptions in Tonga. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net. There will be more content for members and subscribers as well as website newsletters. Thanks for watching.